my name is Tiffany and this is my channel Who's Your Handmade. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is another episode in my Sewing with Knits series and today we are getting real about knit fabric. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to welcome you into the sewing community. Thank you so much to each one of my friends who are tuning in again today. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of your day to spend it with me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Is this content helping you? Is it helpful to your knit sewing game? If you are intimidated by sewing with knits, I hope that this video series will empower you and inspire you and encourage you <laughs> to go out there and give knits a try. I really hope that it will. Let me know down below in the comment section if you like sewing with knits or if you're still a little scared of them or what questions you might have. If I can't answer your questions, somebody will in the sewing community, I'm sure. There are so many talented individuals within this community. So I have already published two videos in this series. Episode one was an introduction to knits. So I'm talking about this series, starting this series, why I want to start this series. And then episode two is a video about my most used tools and notions when I am sewing with knit fabric. So what I need when I'm sewing with knit fabric, what I have around me when I go to start my project, and then a few things that are nice to have but not necessary. So if you haven't watched those two videos, I will link them down below. Do go give those a watch after you finish this one. Today we are going to talk about the fabric. <laughs> and boy do I love fabric. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have quite a large stash. So I have dug into my stash and picked out some fabrics to discuss with you today. So the goal of today's video is to introduce you to some of my beloved fabric types. I'm going to give you a listing of what I think would be great uh, knit fabric types to start out with when you're a beginner. And then I'm going to give you a few to watch out for. And this is no matter how much you have sewn with knits before, these types of knit fabrics can trip you up a little bit. But before we get to those lists, let me just share with you a myth that I heard a couple times, at least a couple times, when I was polling the community about uh, fears that they had about sewing with knit fabric. And the myth that I heard a lot of people say that they were intimidated to sew with knit fabric because it's very slinky, it's shifty, it's all super hard to sew with. And that's the reaction I was getting from a lot of people. And let me tell you right now that that is not always the case. There are some slinky types of knit fabric and I've got a few listed on my caution list. <laughs> But within the world of knit fabric, there are so many different types. There are so many different varieties of knit fabric, and a lot of them are very easy to sew with. I know that might be a shock to you. <laughs> you might uh, might find that a little hard to believe, but that brings me to my next point, and this is so important. If you leave with nothing else from this video except for this right here, listen up. <laughs> I think it is so important to go to a fabric store. Find a fabric store that you can go to yourself in person so that you can feel the fabric, so that you can read the labels, and you can start experiencing fabric for yourself. It is so beneficial to get in the store and get your hands and eyes on actual knit fabric. That is how I have learned fabric types. Honestly, going to Joann's, going to Hobby Lobby, going to the nicer fabric stores like University of Sewing and Let's Sew here in Southern Indiana, going to those in-person stores is so beneficial. Now, I know I'm spoiled for choice here. I have a lot of fabric stores around me. If you don't have that option, 
I would suggest, I would highly suggest ordering yourself some swatches. There are several different fabric companies that will send you swatches, maybe some for free, maybe some for a little bit of money, but it's going to be so worth your time to just get some swatches of knit fabric feel it, become accustomed to it. That's really going to help you build your confidence in knowing what you're sewing with and what types of fabric you're going to lean to when you start your sewing project. So I have sewn with all of the fabric types that I'm going to talk about today. So as I talk through each type of fabric, I'm going to try to pop in some pictures of my makes just to show you what kind of garments those kinds of fabrics will make. And hopefully this gives you some inspiration to try some of these out for yourself. So let's start with the list of fabrics that I believe are the most user-friendly and most useful to a beginning knit sewist. So if you're just starting out your knit sewing game, these are for you. The first type of fabric that I have is a Liverpool knit. I love sewing with Liverpool. It's actually very, very stable. One of the most stable knit fabrics that I have ever experienced. So this is a beautiful Liverpool knit that I got quite a while ago at fabric.com. Uh, Liverpool knit has a texture. I don't know if you can kind of see the texture on there. It has something of a texture. It is thick, so it's great for um, outerwear. I made a couple blazers out of some Liverpool knit. Hopefully I'm popping some pictures in. Recently, I love those blazers. I love the fit of them. I love wearing it. So Liverpool, because it's so structured and stable, it's going to be very easy to sew with. It's going to sew up a lot like a cotton. Um, it's going to behave itself. It's not going to be slinky going through your sewing machine. So that's why I've put Liverpool on this beginner's list. The next knit fabric that I'm going to feature is French Terry. I love French Terry. I will sew with French Terry all winter long. It is so cozy. It is more of a cold weather fabric in my opinion because it is quite warm. But if you live in a place where a cover-up or a sweater is useful all year round, this is something that you could sew with all year round. So French Terry is going to have loops on the back. You can kind of see the texture there that's very indicative of the French Terry type. I found that French Terry is very stable. While it is very soft and it is pliable, it also has a lot of stableness to it, which makes sewing with it very easy. There are some French Terry blends out there. I have a French Terry rayon blend and the rayon kind of makes it a little more slinky but this one if you get something that's straight French Terry it is going to be very stable for you in your knit garment. The next kind of knit fabric that I've brought over for the beginners is interlock. This is interlock knit and this is interlock knit from Joann's. Um, in their pop section they have a lot of interlock knit and this wild kind of goofy print that I picked up for my two-year-old is classified as interlock. It's kind of a thick fabric. Uh, the knit is thicker. Now this is very stretchy fabric. This has a lot of stretch to it. The last two that I showed you, I would classify them as not as stretchy as some knit fabric can be. But interlock is very stretchy, but yet it's very stable because of the thickness of the fabric. It sews really well. It's not going to shift on you. The ends do not curl. You can see right there, they're straight. So interlock, I love to use for cozy pajamas. It's a little on the thicker side, so it could be a little bit hot as a lot of knit fabric can be. But I love to use these for Addie's pajamas. I've also used them for like rompers for her. I love her clothing made out of interlock because it is so soft and it sews up really, really well. So that's why I've put interlock on this beginner's list. The next type of knit fabric for the beginner's list is Ponty. This is a Ponty skirt that I made recently for a work trip. Um, this is a really great fabric. I don't have any actual fabric to show you. I don't have any more in my stash, but I need some. Ponty is very, very stable, even though it is quite stretchy. It makes great, it makes a great fabric choice for a bottom weight uh, garment like a skirt or pants. Ponty is going to be a really great choice for you. It's very soft, very stretchy, and very stable. Highly recommend Ponty for a beginner. And then the last kind of fabric that I'm going to suggest for the beginners is any kind of cotton blend knit. Cotton, as we know, is very stable to sew with. If you've ever sewn with 100% cotton, you know that it's a dream to sew with. Well, when cotton is blended in with a knit fabric, 
it lends that stability to that fabric. So this is a cotton lycra fabric that I purchased from Fabric Mart Fabrics, and you can see that the edges are curling. That's the properties of cotton lycra, so that might be kind of annoying to you, but that fabric is going to be somewhat stable because of that cotton blend. Now, this is my experience. You might have some different experiences with cotton lycra, but from my experience, the cotton in a cotton blend knit fabric really helps that fabric be a lot more stable. Stable. So what are some of my favorites to sew with? What are some of my favorite knit fabrics? These two I've already shown. So the French Terry, I've said it before, but I have sewn so many winter garments with the French Terry. I love that type of fabric. And I have some beautiful French Terries in my stash that I can't wait to use in the next cooler season. The other fabric that I love that I've already shown is the Interlock Knit from Joann's. I love sewing with this. It sews up very easy. And I love the outfits that I make for my little girl out of Interlock Knit. So interlock is one of my favorites and then probably my favorite of all time of all knit fabric is going to be rib knit and I know that is so strange but I adore rib knit fabric I have sewn so many things with rib knit and I love how every single one of them turned out so this is a rib knit from Hobby Lobby I use a lot of rib knits from Hobby Lobby I love their plain rib knits for cuffing and for neck bands but I also love it for actual Actual garments itself so hopefully this one will be a little dress for Addie June in the near future but I also love rib knit for myself you might peek a little bit there I'm wearing some rib knit right now it's so comfortable and I love this fabric so now for those cautionary knit fabrics now these I've pulled out of my stash I have experience with them and these are the ones that gave me fits for various reasons so let's look at those cautionary knit fabrics I'm going to bring this cotton lycra out again in the cautionary section just because a lot of people hate this uh, rolling up of the edges. So do you see how the fabric rolls up there at the edges? A lot of people find that very frustrating and it can be very frustrating in your sewing. So if you want to stay away from that, this again is cotton lycra. If you don't want those rolling edges, stay away from cotton lycra. Another cautionary piece of fabric is double brush poly. Now I know DBP is so popular out there in the sewing community, but as a curvy sewist, I've had some very unfortunate uh, incidents with double brush poly. Double brush poly has negative ease and when you are a curvy sewist, double brush poly likes to cling to where you might not really want it to cling. So it's definitely going to shape to your body. It's not going to be as drapey as other types of knits. So watch out for double brush poly. I know it's so tempting. They make some beautiful prints of double brush poly, but Take it or leave it, that's my advice for double brush poly. The next one to watch out for is something called stretch wovens. So this I found in the uh, silky print section of Joann's. It's called a stretch woven, so it is quite slinky. This would be hard to sew with. It does indeed have some stretch, but for the most part, it's going to act like a slinky, silky woven. So watch out for those stretch wovens and just know that it might be a little bit slinky. And then my last cautionary fabric <laughs> that I'm going to share with you is ITY Knit. And I, I'm going to say right now that I love ITY Knit. It is so luxurious. But be warned, it's a little shifty. So this is some ITY knit that I bought from Fabric Mart Fabrics. I made a beautiful gown out of it. And while the gown is beautiful and I love it, it was quite shifty when I was trying to sew with it. It's very flowy, very drapey, which is kind of kind of equal slinky when you go to sew with it. So just be aware that ITY knit can be pretty slinky um, for your sewing projects. Now, as a resource for you, one that I use for myself, I'm going to pop a picture up and then link down below an article on knitfabric.com. Knitfabric.com is a 
a seller of really beautiful knit fabric. So go check them out if you want to check out an online store. But they also have this really great article and take the time to go over there and read it. They are describing every single knit fabric that they sell and they show a picture of it and they tell you a lot of great uses for it. So I'm going to pop up their little visual of what a certain kind of fabric can be used for. It's really, really useful for me in getting to know knit fabric and it might be a great resource for you. So before we wrap up today, I do want to address one of your questions. Back in the very first video, I asked for y'all to drop some questions that you had about knit fabric down below in the comment section. They had one from Antonia. I really hope that I'm pronouncing your name right, Antonia. I'm sorry if I'm not. She had a great question about fabric suggestions for knit pants. Now, I do not sew pants my for myself. I only wear skirts and dresses, but I want to show you, Antonia, a couple of bottom weight fabrics that I would suggest for anyone to use in a knit bottom garment. Let me show you a couple that I have sewn up. This is the first one that I wanted to show you. I showed it a few minutes ago. This is that Ponty skirt. This is the Sybil skirt by Love Notions. Actually, both of these are, and I would highly suggest Ponty for a knit bottom bottom weight fabric. It's very structured and it has a lot of body to it. It's soft, it's breathable, it might be a little bit heavy for uh, summertime, but it would make a great pair of winter slacks or fall slacks if that's something that you like. So I love it in my skirts. So Antonia, check out Ponty fabric for your knit pants. And then the other bottom weight fabric that I love for my skirts is Liverpool. So I showed you the floral Liverpool, which I have made a blanket are out of but this one is a black one and I've made another simple uh, skirt out of it love Liverpool for a bottom weight it is a lot lighter actually than the Ponty so this one is good for summer and spring for a more breezy knit fabric for the bottom for your pants and I love Liverpool as an option for my skirts. So those are my two suggestions, Antonia. I hope that helps. If you have any other suggestions for knit pants, uh, the knit fabric for pants for Antonia, drop those down in the comment section. Maybe she can read through those and get some suggestions from you guys. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this third episode of Sewing with Knits. Next month, I hope to have the fourth episode coming out. We're gonna actually go to a fabric store. We're gonna take a little bit more time with a fabric. I know sometimes knit fabric can be very confusing so we're going to look at a fabric store, probably going to head to Joann's. I'm going to pick out a pattern and pick out some fabric just to show you what my process would be and then hopefully I can give you some resources for online fabric shopping if you don't have any actual brick and mortar stores around you. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these fabrics. I would love to talk to you down below in the comment section. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.